What is up, you guys? It's Bolt298. We're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2's final season, season 6. We have some uncertain news about DMZ. Two Modern Warfare 3 characters are joining us early and much more. That's right, guys. We're going to be getting into Modern Warfare 2's final season here very shortly. And we have so much content to cover. But before we get into that, guys, thank you so much for helping with hitting the sub button. If you haven't already, please go hit the sub button. We've upped this number so much. We're at 91.6% of our viewers not subscribed, while 8.4% are. Please hit that sub button if you haven't already. If you decide to today, thanks. If you decide not to, let me know some feedback down below so the next time you're here, I can change your mind. Let's hop right into our content. Obviously, we have Season 6 coming right around the corner with Season 5 ending very shortly. And Season Season 6 is confirmed to be coming out on September 27th and it will be announced to be the golden opportunity to prepare for Modern Warfare 3. Meaning that we are probably going to get so much more news that we haven't already about Modern Warfare 3 plus more in-game like secrets and hidden things that we're going to see through Modern Warfare 2 that will be in Modern Warfare 3. In my opinion, Season 5 was probably the best season in my opinion that I played. I still haven't even finished it, but it was really good. With Season 6 coming around the corner with all the Modern Warfare 3 news, I can't wait to get into it. Like every season that we get a new mode, we will be getting one in Season 6. Hopefully, it comes in the form of Rupture. And prior to Season 4, we were rumored Ruptured and Havoc. We got Havoc last season in Season 5, but we still yet to see Rupture. Rupture is a random generated juggernaut that gets placed on the map, and you basically kind of just... Go crazy with the juggernaut and of course if you kill that juggernaut you become the juggernaut um, obviously though we do have the haunting event coming up so there are other modes that are going to be LTMs for multiplayer as we did have in Modern Warfare 2019 and Cold War we'll just have to wait to figure out what those modes entail and well we also have Warzone content yeah so the bonus Fort Resurgence map got delayed until September 6 after initially being marked for a mid-season release however we have seen most of our limited time modes the only two we are yet to see in Warzone 2 include scopes and scattered guns as well as a 200 player quads mode. So basically these are the only two limited modes that we could see coming that aren't involving the haunting event because obviously with the haunting event we're going to have a ghost mode that comes out where you kind of you know play some sort of ghost infected type thing but as far as non haunting event these are the only two limited time modes we are yet to see. As far as our battle pass operators go we had two operators known as Ivan and Nolan that were leaked by Twitter data miners in, for season 5. They were supposed to be out in season 5. However these individuals have not seen seen the light of day but we're seeing in the shadow siege event cutscene and our coney operators who infiltrated shadow company it's likely that these operators will be the season six battle pass characters which could imply a coney themed final season also as part of the haunting update there are halloween themed characters that we already discussed and four crossovers including ash williamson skeletor and spawn this is all that we know right now about operators but let's go over to dmz because obviously we know DMZ has an uncertain future with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 if you're talking about DMZ that we got in Modern Warfare 2. Obviously we know DMZ for Modern Warfare 3 is going to be the zombie outbreak mode. However for DMZ 2 or DMZ Modern Warfare 2 we saw it received a healthy amount of updates in Season 5 but nothing on the scale of a new weapon case or exclusion zone. With the rumor that DMZ support will come to a halt after Season 6 it's exciting to think about how Infinity War want to end the mode on a bank. Can expect faction mission refreshes, additional arsenal upgrades and maybe a secret barter recipe on specific exclusion zones. Could we ever see Building 21 taken off? of its weekend rotation especially if dmz support is meant to end before modern warfare 3 i don't know i didn't play a lot of dmz i played it a little bit but personally i couldn't get around to like enjoying it i'm hoping the zombie form of dmz works a lot better for me and i want to know your thoughts of dmz modern warfare 2 going away for the new modern warfare 3 dmz as we know not everyone is a huge zombie fan so not everyone likes the idea of the new zombie dmz versus the old dmz so let me know down below which one you support also let me know anything that you want to let me know down below on any of the things we talked about i'm super interested to hear what you guys say about the new modes new skins or any new operators that you think could be coming to the battle pass in season six and that guys i hope you have a great day and i hope you share the video if you think it deserves to be shared if you don't let me know some feedback down below so i can better the channel if you decide to hit the sub button thank you if you decide not to also leave feedback so the next time you're on the channel i can change your mind anyways guys have a great day and peace out